Hello there, everybody. This is Drunk Goomba1645, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Red Blind. Today is finally the day we are going to be finishing this game once and for all. But first, a couple, more or less, one thing I need to point out is, well, Pikachu evolved into a Raichu, and if you want to know how it happened, I used a Thunderstone. At this point in time, I decided to say, you know what, screw it. I'll just listen to... Just listen to the people who are shouting at me, use a dang Thunderstone! And to tell the truth, it kind of paid off. Because stats are actually really impressive. And, yeah, Raichu received a major stat boost upon evolution. And also, I bought plenty of items off screen, and I am ready to go. It's time to take on the Elite Four. <sighs> All right, just take a moment, and that moment is up. Let's go. Hmm. There's a sign over here. What does it say? Nothing. What do you have to say, sir? Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorsi, the of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> you ready? Of course I am. Let's do this. Alright, first up is her. And I have no information about her whatsoever, other than the fact that her Pokemon are going to be quite a bit of a pain in the butt to take down. And I'm kind of unprepared, because I'm still in the mid-40s. Hehe, <laughs> rest failed because... It missed? Dang it! Stupid. Whatever, Thunderbolt will get the job done, hopefully. Oh, just barely. Oh, wow. Hit with recoil. Yeah. That was pretty epic recoil indeed. And I'm surprised Raichu actually survived that. If it was still in the Pikachu state, it would have been dead in a matter of seconds. Just saying. Alright, let's try Thunder again. That's better. Ooh, yeah. Thunderbolt to finish it off. And that's the end of Dugong. And 1117, no, 1017, my bad. Wow, next up is Cloyster. We're gonna keep this in because this is the epic battle for the finish. And also electric type Pokemon, I just noticed are very, very good choices here. Thank God for Raichu. Next up, Slowbro! Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting fight to say the least. Hopefully, if it doesn't die immediately. And it used Growl. You are so sad. You are pathetic. You get nothing. You lose. That's the end. My Slowbro is superior to yours. And level 46. Excellent. Alright, three of the four stats are now at over 100, which is really good. Next up, Jinx. We haven't seen Jinx yet. Jinx is actually pretty controversial. From what I remember, Jinx was originally black in the anime. However, four kids later changed her to actually be purple. To tell the truth, they actually do have a valid reason of actually doing it. And I don't exactly remember the reason, but I do re remember something recalling it looks so similar to someone else with a facial dysfunctionality, and therefore they just wanted to be sensitive. And of course, what blasphemy is this that uh you know I'm not yelling at four kids for making such a change? Yeah, kinda odd, I know. But be quiet. They have their reasons. That was back in the day. 
before they started going censorship crazy. Like they are now. And I don't even know if they're still a dubbing company or if they're something else now. Their Wikipedia page says that, uh... Oh, Super Potion. Whatever, it's not gonna help you. You lose. And that's the end. Lapras is defeated 26-28. And that's the end of her. How dare you? 55-44. Wow, nice. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. I wonder, can I go back and then go forward again? So much boys. Don't run away. Alrighty then. I cannot go back. Alright, let's save in case things go wrong. Why? Because I have a pretty good feeling that, uh... Yeah. Okay. Time to change the lineup just slightly. I think Slowboro would be better suited for this fight. And because this looks like a rock type gym or area, I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. That I know is true. I've way trained with my Pokemon. Dr. Goom, you will grind you we will grind you down with our superior power. Wow. What a struggle just to read a couple of simple little sentences. And Bruno, he's got five Pokemon as well. And first up is Onyx. Alright, here we go. Second of the Elite Four. Time to use Surf. Why Surf? Because it's a water type move, and as you all know, rock types are susceptible to water. Pikachu would not be a good candidate here, or Raichu for this matter. Ah! I don't know what I'm saying anymore. More. Ew, my gold. Okay, hit my chin. And confusion. X defend. Really? Well, it's a good idea to actually use that at this point in time, but still, it loses. Pretty much, like right now, after I get hit with a Mega Punch. And it still didn't do too much damage, which I'm thankful for. 1650, next up, hit my Lee! To tell the truth, I think I just noticed something. Hit my Lee, obviously, is like a reference to Stanley, or is it uh, someone else? No, it's Bruce Lee! My bad, and Hitmonchan obviously is a reference to Jackie Chan, so some Pokemon names are actually referenced to famous celebrities and or fighting stars out in the ring. Or is it something else entirely? I don't know. Going nuts here. And that's the end of Onyx. And level 48. Nicely done. We may reach level 50 by the time we're finished here. Next up, Machamp! Finally, the last one of the evolutionary line of the Machop family. Machamp obviously has four arms as opposed to uh, two. It kind of reminds me of four arms from uh, Ben 10, the original Ben 10. Which, by the way, is superior to any of the others, but hey, I'm just saying. I like the original more than the others. Followed by Alien Force. Alien Force is pretty good, but it seems to be more negative. But hey, I haven't seen the whole series, but hey, that's just me. And that's the end of Bruno. Whew. Why? How could I lose? Because I have a Psychic type and a Water type, and that's freaking awesome. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. And indeed I will, right after we use another Hyper Potion and bring Slowbro's health back up. Why? Because we need all the help that we can possibly get. Alright, next room, third of the Elite Four. And a good candidate here would probably be Firo, so time to bring him out and let him have a little party. I am Ag... Uh... Whatever, her 
She is another member of the Elite Four and the third member. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with this Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Dr. Goom, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Um, I kind of have to disagree about them fighting. I am pretty serious about that. First up is Gengar. And judging by the environment alone, uh, she's going to be holding primarily ghost type, excuse me, ghost type Pokemon. Eh, tap missed. A drill pack shall destroy you next time. And of course, you gotta delay the inevitable. You're merely postponing the inevitable. But thank God I still have the Poke Flute and have it with me in my pockets. All Slit and Pokemon look up and there we go. The Super Potion might have actually saved you for at least one more attack. As long as this doesn't happen. So. Uh, that's why I have full heals. It won't have any effect. Don't! Well, it's official. Full heals cannot restore confusion. What can restore confusion? Whew. Alrighty. Thank you, Firo, for actually coming through and not killing yourself. Next up, Golbat. Oh boy. That makes me so happy. I'm gonna fly for you right after these messages. And wake attack. And I did something. That was bad. There we go. Alright. Uh oh, Hayes. All status changes are eliminated. Huh. Alrighty then. Uh, still don't know what that did. And I have nothing to say. Status changes are eliminated. Okay, yeah. It works on both sides of the field, so that's good for me. And also status changing that also affects X potions and, you know, X attack, X defend, you know, that sort of ordeal. But hey, I'm just saying. I don't use those kinds of things because I rely on brute force and just base strength alone. And also, I have the dirty number at HP. Why? Because I'm not freaking awesome. It's Technist. And Drill Peck again. After confusion, comes in and decides to be rude and mean and nasty. But thank God he overcome it. Thank you, Vero. The dirty number actually served you well. Next up, Arbok. What do I have to talk about today? To tell the truth, I don't have much of anything right now off the top of my head. Confused no more, thank you. Well, okay. Hehe, <laughs> you lose. And that's the end of Arbok. Woo! That was actually pretty hairy and I was getting kind of worried there. And next up, Gengar. Again? Jeez, first and last Pokemon. Let's try Fly again. Why? Because we need to preserve some PP for the last of the Elite Four. And wow, Gengar is at level 60. Uh oh, this may be trouble. And indeed it is. Time for another Hyper Potion. Kinda glad I held off, at least for a little bit of time. Cause now the Hyper Potion is a little bit more effective. Well, in all actuality, it isn't, but still. Preserve it for when I need it most. And 
and I may need it again in just a few short moments here. And that should be the end. And it is! Whew! That was close. Well, okay, maybe not close, but still. Oh, you're something special, child. And 59.40. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. And let's heal up and prepare for the very last member of the Elite Four. 60 HP. Not too bad. Alright. And we're making our way all the way to the bloody end. And the doors are sealed off behind us. Okay. Who should come out and fight this time? Beatrice is out of the question. Alright, she needs some rest. Slow rose over you, so how about Sea King? Let's see how he will perform. And we're gonna put the most elite of all elite Pokemon up to the top of the roster. Why? Because that's the nature of the Elite Four. The most elite of elite. The most powerful of all. Well, okay, maybe not, but still! Ah, I heard you... I heard about you, Dr. Goom. I led the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are my mystical Pokemon. Or mythical. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me. Alright, here we go. The final member of the Elite Four. Lance. Let's do this. First up is Gyarados. And actually, maybe he's in seeking first was not such a good idea. So let's switch to Raichu. Why? Because, again, despite it being a dragon, uh-oh, Hyper Beam. Oh my. Wow, what a bloody hit. Let's see if I can actually survive one more attack. Just enough so I can get off a Thunder or a Thunderbolt must recharge. Okay, thank God. Alright, Thunder go! Damn it! Damn, what a hit! Again! And the reason why I'm using Hyper Potions first instead of Max Potions is because Max Potions... They will actually heal a Pokemon's HP completely. And I feel like using something a little bit less superior at first. Alright, 1329 and 1329. And level 47 for Raichu. Excellent. Next up... Dragonair? Uh... I don't even know. Ooh, that thing. Alright. My guess, water? No. Okay. Okay then, uh, we got a bit of a problem on our hands. Uh, sure, slow bro, come on out. That's all I have to say. And no dragon rage. And that actually wasn't too bad. Uh oh, hyper beam. My, what a hit! But mine shall be the victor here, my friend. And using amnesia will, yeah, it'll increase increase my special. Why? Because. And also, I got plenty of revives too. So if I need to revive someone, I will. Whew. That was actually pretty pretty hairy. Next up, another. Freaking Dragonair. And Hyper Potion. Jeez, how many of these have I used? Almost all of them. 
and 129. That's not bad. Like I said, they can heal up to 200 HP. And at this point in time, they can uh, heal all, all HP of all my Pokemon. And wow, what a hit. And that was an even bigger hit. Goodbye, Dragonair. How I knew thee well. Gave me quite a bit of a run for my money and gave me quite a scare. Next up, Aerodactyl. Uh... Once again, don't know very much information about it other than the fact that it's a prehistoric Pokemon and it impacts quite a punch because it's level 60 and that's the, kind of to be expected. Man, I am such a healing freak. Why? Because... Yes, thank God! Uh-oh. Hehe, <laughs> recoil! You gotta love that sometimes. But you gotta hate it most of the time. And level 49! Woo! Alright! Next up, Dragonite! The final dragon Pokémon that we will have to face, and it is a level 62! Oh dear God! What have I gotten myself into? Let's just hope that the Slowbro can survive this one attack! Please! Oh, not quite. Oh well. Uh, shoot. Sure, Firo, you do something for at least a few minutes. Try Drill Peck. Let's see what this can do. Not very much. Alright. Uh, Mirror Move. Why? Because we need that extra defense. Sure, do it again. Why not? Because Mirror Move is that freaking cool. You can mirror practically any move in the whole game. And thank God that barrier actually did something. Whew. All right, double edge go. Oh wow, that was bad, very bad. Drill pack is more effective to an extent. Speed greatly rose. Try flying. Let's see how this will do. And another barrier. And that didn't do much of anything. Don't. Barrier must have reached its final stage. Oh, you jerk. Oh, great. I'm gonna be running out of PP in a minute. Hey, that's what she said. Although that doesn't really make much sense at all. And crap. Well, there went Thero. Raichu, come on out. At least for a few more minutes. Thunderbolt! Please. And that was a dumb idea. I should have used the Hyper Potion. Okay, this is starting to go south really quickly. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna have to pick someone up. And I got two max revives, so let's use this on Slowbro, bring him back from the grave. And there we go. Slowbro's back up and on his feet. Let's try something awesome. Try Blizzard. Let's see how this will work. After I get murdered. Great. Well, Sea King was more or less a decoy anyway, so... Not too much of a problem, but hey. I still don't like you. I still don't like you, Dragonite. I like you for the sheer fact that you're pretty cool and you have really great power, but you're also really annoying. I really hope I don't lose to you, because if I do, I'm going to have to go back quite a ways. Oh, thank God, you're confused. Let's use Amnesia. Oh, crud, not again! Damn it! It's down. Alright. 
We're gonna need to uh, use another Max Revive. Bring him back! And I'm gonna need to bring back someone else too using my regular revives. Just wish they sold Max Revives, but nope. Doesn't happen. Let's see. Who should I bring back next? How about Fiera? Why not? Alright. Okay. Let's see. What can Venusaur do? Hopefully something. Let's try Solar Beam. Come on. Come on. Fire! Thank you. Please do something. It was ineffective. Shoot. Let's try this. Nothing. Okay. Apparently things are going downhill, majorly. And here comes another hyper beam. Oh dang. Dang it, I don't want to use another revive. I want to use a hyper potion. Why didn't register it as twice? Must recharge. Whew. Thank you, God Almighty. Will you die already? Please! Please die! Thank you! Woo! What a major pain in the freaking ass! That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon Master. And 6138. I still can't believe my dragon is lost to you, Dr. Goob. You are now the Pokemon League Champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Miyamoto. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League Champion. Oh great. So, Gary aka Miyamoto is here and he defeated the Elite Four before us. So, let's see, uh, here we got Max Potion. Alright, let's bring everyone back from the grave, and let's see, here's the revive. This is what I was looking for. Bring back everyone and get everyone all healed up and prepare for battle. Prepare for the last fight. And we're going to save before we actually continue this time. And I'm not going to be an idiot. Max Potion, please thank you. Wish I had some extra Hyper Potions so I don't have to waste these, but... Hey, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And... Let us save. And there we go. Game is saved. Time to take on the last challenger. In just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, decided to cut the recording there because I didn't want to go over the 30 minute mark and then end up having glitches happen. So, let's give Gary a run for his money and become Pokemon Master. Hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Dr. Goom. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, but I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Dr. Goom, you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Oh yeah? We'll just see about that. Alright, he's got six Pokemon. Let's prepare for the fight of our lives. First up to the plate is Pidgeot. And I forgot to change my Pokemon lineup again. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I don't know. I figured I'd be able to... <laughs> you, you seriously suck, man. And I'm almost out of Thunderbolts. Crud. 
Haha, <laughs> it's not gonna do you any good. Wow. To tell the truth, if you're following Final Fantasy logic, the thunder, when used on right, you should have actually healed him. Instead, it hurts him, but thankfully it wasn't too bad. Next up, Alakazam. And the best person for the job is Slowbro. Why? Because Psychic versus Psychic. Best freaking combination ever. And let's use Amnesia. Hey, hey, you failed because you didn't... You didn't get hurt yet. Uh-oh, Reflect. Gained armor. Okay, that was a dumb idea. But hey, at least he's confused for a limited time. Hey, <laughs> Reflect failed on you. Why? Because he already used it. So, what can I say about Gary now? He has gotten quite a lot stronger since we last met. And that was before we took on Victory Road. Uh, and Psybeam. Now I'm going to bet 20 bucks he's going to spam it to freaking death. But then again, we don't know. And let's end this with Surf. Why? Because we have more PP for that than anything else. And that's the end of Alakazam! 2350, next up, Rhydon! And... No, we're not gonna change because... I think Rhydon is also part water type. I mean, part rock type. Why did I say water type? I don't know. And my hypothesis was correct. He was part water type and thus shared the weak. Oh my god, I, I did it again. I freaking did it again. I confused him with a different type altogether. And stomping. That sucks. And confusion not effective. Oh my god, why didn't I bring someone like Ponyta? Because I don't need fire types, but then again, it probably would have been the best idea at this point. And I kind of ran into this issue before. Oh yeah, Firo. Firo would actually make a good substitute for right now. Unless he gets killed. Alright, here we go. Drill pack. End it, please. So close. Hypnosis. You're merely postponing the inevitable again. And Poke Flute, go. Because I know how to play the Poke Flute as if I was playing Ocarina of Time or something. I don't know. Whatever. Die, please. And that's the end of Executor. And Executor was executed. And Slowbro reached level 50, which is freaking awesome. Next up, Gyarados. Alright, time for Raichu to come back out. Why? Because Gyarados is also part water, as well as fire and dragon. So, why not? Thunderbolt, please kill it. Oh, so close. And Mega Kick. Yes! There we go. Glad I taught Mega Kick. Next up, and final Pokemon, Charizard. And we're going to change this to Sea King and have him finish off freaking Miyamoto, aka Gary. Why? Because. Let's use a waterfall. Why not? Wow, slashed in major damage. But so shall this. Will it kill him? Not quite. But I still have plenty of items up my freaking sleeve. And heal you back up on your feet, pretty please. Thank you! And now he's gonna be using rage the whole time. And every time we hit him, he's gonna become stronger. So we gotta finish him quickly before he becomes too strong and too much for us to handle. Which should be right about now. <laughs> that 
that's the end, folks. Level 48. Miyamoto is defeated. I'm trying to learn horn drill. Ew. Okay. Let's see what we can get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of Waterfall. And there we go. Learn horn drill. And there we go. Whew. All right. No, this... That can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become League Champ! My reign is over already! It's not fair! And 6435. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokémon! Darn it! You're the new Pokémon League Champion! Although, I don't like to admit it. And Dr. Goom! Hello, Professor Oak! So, you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokémon League Champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur. Dr. Goom, you have come of age. Miyamoto, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Miyamoto, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokémon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Dr. Goom, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond, of, bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. Dr. Goom, come with me. Indeed, I shall. Congratulations, Dr. Goom. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Dr. Goom, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Dr. Goom. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. And there we go! Hall of Fame, Seeking Level 48. Next up, Slowbro, Level 50, Hall of Fame. And this is going by the Pokemon order in which I had everyone arranged. I think Slowbro was the only Pokemon that reached level 50. And Raichu, level 47. My pride and my happiness around. But of course, we can't forget Venusaur, my starter, and also one of my most favorite Pokemon of all time. Next up is Beedrill. He was pretty damn good, for the most part, until later on in the game when he started slacking. And me? Playtime? Pokedex rating? You finally got at least 50 spe species. Be sure to get experience all for my aid. Okay. And that's the end of Pokemon Red! And my god, I can't believe it's finally over. How many parts is it? Been, uh, 49, I think? 49 parts? Maybe 50, I'm not sure. I'm gonna lay my cards on the table and say it's 49. Why? Because... <sighs> My freaking god, I had a blast playing through this game. Despite it being blind, I still knew quite a bit of information. Even though I did look up some things, I didn't look up really much on how to progress through the game. I was only told about uh, how to get to Saffron City, and that was it. Other than that, I was pretty much going by my gut, and it was basically telling me to go this way, go that way. I was just following my senses and my... and just... I love RPGs. JRPGs especially. JRPGs are 
probably my favorite genre of gaming besides platformers and also action adventure. I'm dead serious. I am such a fan of JRPGs. I have a lot of games planned that are RPG based. But that's another tale for another time because that is the end of Pokemon Red. I had a lot of fun playing through this game. I really have. And... What's up now? Oh, I'm back at the title screen. I wonder what happens now. After we go back... Push start... There's probably more that I can do. Actually, yes, there is. We're back home, in Pallet Town. Okay then. There's probably one more thing I can do before I can conclude this project. First, you. What do you have to say? I say Pokemon as Professor's aid, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What do you have to say, sir? Good to see you. How is your Pokedex coming? Here, let me take a look. Poke Pokedex com completion is... 136 Pokemon seized, 59 Pokemon owned, Professor Oak's rating, you finally got at least 50, blah 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 blah, shut up. And what does this contain? That is Professor Oak's last Pokemon. Yeah. Okay then. Well, I'm 100% certain there is a lot more that we can do, like go out and actually capture more Pokemon and actually take on some additional challenges and even try to take on Mewtwo himself and capture it with a Master Ball. But I'm not going to do that. Why? Because this was a blind let's play and like I said from the get-go, this, this game, I was only going to just play through the main game and just do what I can and just, uh, you know, just have fun with it. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm happy to have done a Let's Play of this game and to have even played a Pokemon game in general because this was my very first one. Now to play Pokemon Black and play through that and see what's the, what's new. I'm pretty sure there's quite a bit of things that are new besides new Pokemon and different game mechanics in general. So, I will be ending this video here and closing out this Let's Play. This is Drunk Goomba 1645 Let's Play Pokemon Red Blind. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for all your support. And also, another thing worth pointing out, before I say goodbye, I have actually reconsidered doing a blind Let's Play of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Based on the feedback that I've received on Pokemon Red Blind, I may actually do it when I get my hands on it whenever that'll come out, which will most likely be early 2013. But, I may not necessarily start the Let's Play right away if I'm actually doing another game in the meantime. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, and I will see you guys for my next Let's Play. And also I'll be releasing an update video basically going over some things that are going to be happening over the next few months. So, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you, if you enjoyed this video and any video throughout this Let's Play, please remember to leave a like because that will be really helpful and it's greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys next time for whatever it is that I'm doing. So, once again, thank you and see you guys later.